What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are doing awesome today. This video, we are going to be focusing on if you can start an EDC for under $100. When I was at Walmart just the other day, I was looking around and I was like, man, I wonder if I could get some items to start an EDC from Walmart that have some quality uh, that are well made come with good materials and i was like i wonder what price point i could be at when i leave here with getting these items so i picked up the three main items that i thought would be best to start an edc and basically you're very limited at a retailer like that like Walmart or anywhere for that matter in a lot of places you might find one good thing that you can get and then the others will be subpar or just mediocre and that's kind of what I ran into at Walmart when I was there but I would like to start off with the flashlight so I have never had anything from this brand. Uh, I have seen some good things about this company though. One of the main things that I really liked was that you can power this with a AAA. And it was EDC sized. It was uh, not very expensive. I wanna say less than $10. So we'll get into this and take a look. We'll use the AMA Gladiator 2 and S90V to get into this guy. I hate this plastic and it hates me. So I was looking around and I was wondering if I would be able to find an EDCable flashlight because a lot of them are camping lights or like house lights, kind of like throwaways in a sense. Uh, maybe not throwaways, but you know, the plastic ones that take uh, like C batteries or D batteries. Let's get this pamphlet out of here too, just so we can uh, take a look at it and some of the specs. So, I've heard some good things about Coast and their flashlights. They make quite a few different sizes and uh, they have, they had uh, at Walmart, they had a couple different sizes and it looked like, you know, some for in the house. This was about the only one that was EDCable. Now they did have some uh, real cheap, real El Cheapo brand flashlights that were like keychain or smaller. But uh, this looked like the best one out of the bunch. Like I said, AAA battery. And I like the size. I really do. It's uh, not real big not real small either it fits in the hand which is one thing i look for uh to at least kind of be able to fit in my hand uh be very discreet and it's got a pretty thin body as well so what we're looking at here is the coast alkaline power powered by one triple a it's called the px22 100 lumens it's got a low high option 170 foot range beam ip54 dust resistant storm proof and has a lifetime warranty 43 lumens on low and 100 on high 35 meter distant on low, 52 on high, and then it's got a four hour runtime on 43 lumens. So that's, uh, that's decent. 
metal construction, heavy duty O rings. Comes with a Coast Extreme Performance AAA Alkaline Battery. So, one click is for low. So what? That's low and that's high. That ain't bad. I like that light. It's got a nice audible click. So it will be... So it does have some O-rings there. Triple A battery there. I like rechargeable flashlights, but there's something to be said about being able to get a double A or a triple A uh, and just throw a new one in. You can always find typically a triple A or a double A almost in any house in America. Uh, you might not always be able to find power though. Uh, and that's the other good thing. You can find a AAA in a TV remote or any type of item. And uh, they're, they should be pretty easy to get. You know, if worse comes to worst, uh, I would rather have a battery powered like this than a rechargeable. Rechargeables do have their place, though. Uh, but anywhere, like in my truck, in my backpacks ones that I would really depend on outside of my house, uh, I would definitely go with an external battery like this. We're definitely going to see what this guy can do. It seems, uh, for the money, it seems well built. So that flashlight I was looking for, the receipt is was $9.97, so 10 bucks. For that flashlight. I think that's a good deal. The next item was $5.94. And I just wanted to get this to try it out. It is an Ozark Trail 12 in 1 multi tool. Six bucks for this thing. And when I was looking at it, I wasn't sure how ergonomic it would be, but I figured for six bucks, it would be worth giving it a shot. And it comes with a nice sheath, guys. If you don't cut it in half while you're opening this up. So there is the multi-tool. Belt loop attachment. Oh, it don't seem too bad. Might be something good to throw in a bag or your truck maybe. The pliers are spring assisted. Handles are straight, which typically guys, what I've come to realize is when you get like cheap multi-tools, now there has been a couple exceptions. Uh, this one, usually the handles are not aligned properly. And, uh, and that doesn't necessarily cause an issue, but uh, it's just something to do with the build. But this one and this one that I got from Amazon both came centered. Now, this 
second handle is actually a touch wider, but they are centered. So, and this one was like 12 bucks. So, you can get a decent multi-tool and not spend 70 80 a hundred dollars plus so you do get the needle nose pliers uh you get the wire cutters let's move on so the tool will have to be open in order to get to the tools let's see how they come out here so you do get hey you do get a 3d Phillips head. That's a nice little touch there. I'm assuming that's some sort of bottle opener. That's a bottle opener, I think. You got your straight edge there. So is that... This is all going to be non-locking. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're all going to be non-locking. But, so you can close it up. Feels like they put some semblance of an edge on there. Uh, what do we got next here? So there's your can opener. So that maybe that isn't a bottle opener. Eh, maybe it is a bottle opener, but maybe they just give you two. Because that's a bottle opener. That's a can opener there. And then that's some sort of all. Not very pointy though. It's not supposed to be a slotted, no. Let's go to this side. So they do give you a serrated or saw blade. There's a small slotted or flat and a small or a medium. So it'd be like a slotted six and a slotted eight. Somewhere in that ballpark. The numbers just mean the size of the head. 10 is usually like the widest that I've seen. That's normal. And then here is your file, horizontal file. So for six bucks, guys, this would be possibly something to consider. Now, one thing else to consider is you're going to have to either carry this in the pouch or just throw it in the pocket. There is no lanyard. There's no pocket clip. Uh, so it will just have to be thrown in the pocket. It's not too heavy. Uh, I don't know. For me personally, though, this isn't something I would just throw in my pocket. Maybe if I was at work, I would. But uh, certainly not like going out to eat or something like that. Uh, I wouldn't just throw this in my pocket. This was mainly to test this out, get it on film, and uh, just let guys know about it. I don't know if that, that feels all right. Why don't we, before we put it away... Let's just see what that that edge came like. So we have our standard magazine paper. Yeah, it has some semblance of an edge on it. 
It'll definitely, I mean, it has like a, a working type edge. It would cut, but uh, for instance, if we pull, this is the Amazon Basics multi-tool. This came with an actual decent edge on it, like it's pretty good for a $12 multi-tool. Uh, the video on this should be out when you're seeing this. If it's not out, the unboxing at least, it will be uh, shortly after this. It should be out though for 12 bucks or so on this guy and it's locking, a liner lock. This is a decent little multi-tool so far. And the little shield in that I got also, this thing came with a screaming good edge and an awesome saw blade. Uh, the video on this should be out as well. All the tools are locking with this axis style lock here. Uh, you pull these tabs down. But uh, I think with a little strop or a little sharpening that could be back in tune i will definitely be doing a little more of an in-depth look at this some testing and then uh we'll find a home for it for sure so let's move to the big kahuna so i decided to kind of go all out on the pocket knife at least concerns at walmart I went with, and I could have went with like a Sog or a Gerber or a Buck or a Camillus, but I figured I don't have many Kershaws. I think I only have one, and uh, I wanted to give this one a try. I'm not a huge fan of serrate, or, uh, assisted, but I don't mind them either. So, and I don't have many. I think I only have maybe one, one assisted knife, maybe two at the most. And I think the leak is assisted. So I think one of them's a Kershaw. But I really like the look of this one. It's thumb studs. It's got 14C, 28N steel. Nice tight tolerances, and it looks cool. Uh, this came in right around uh, 60. We'll take a look here in a second. 68. So all together, it was 88 bucks for these three items. This being the, whoa. This being the highest cost, obviously. Hey, I like those thumb studs. They're angled. Nice. So this one is made in the USA, I believe. It's got the Ken Onion uh, Speed Safe Assist or whatever they call it. Wow. Wow. So you're getting, they don't have it on the blade here, but you're getting 14C28N on the blade steel. Where'd I see that? Right there. Sandvik 14C28N. DLC coated, speed safe assisted opening with thumb studs, inset liner lock, anodized aluminum with track tech inserts, reversible pocket clip, tip up, tip down, lanyard hole, 7.9 inches overall. So it's a good size. Uh, so basically, guys, I know this video is running long but I wanted to talk about kind of each item a little bit. And uh, the basic point of this video was now looking back on doing this, 
they did have an Ozark Trail multi-tool that was 15 bucks. I should have just went with that one. And that would have still kept me under the 100 bucks. And I bet it would be, it would have been a little better quality. But then I figured I could do this video again. You know, just kind of redo it with some different items and pick that up at that time. Uh, but like I said, you know, I could pick up a fixed blade or they actually had a decent selection. Uh, they probably had, eh, they probably had like six or eight Kershaws, six or eight Sogs. They had some Bucks. They had probably six or eight multi-tools. They had quite a few fixed blades. So they did have some selection. You could definitely go there and get started with an EDC. Uh, at least get the basic necessities. And you could keep yourself under a hundred bucks. Um, I would definitely, you know, after feeling this American made 14 C aluminum, good access to that liner, has jimping, uh, reversible pocket clip, tip up or tip down. Uh, no, you can't reverse it to the other side. So it'd be just right hand only tip up or tip down. I thought it said reversible. It must have been tip up or down. And there is aftermarket pocket clips for this, I believe. But, uh, you know, if you snagged this and this, you would be like 76, 78 bucks. And then you could pick up the $15 multi-tool. I think they even had another one right around 20 to 25. So you could even pick that up and you'd be right around a hundred bucks and you'd have a nice little set. Flashlight, uh, pocket knife, and a multi-tool to get you started. Uh, We'll definitely dive into this knife, do a full overview of it, and uh, probably going to put this one through the test, through some testing for sure. It's definitely ergonomic and comfortable. It's got a nice finish on the blade. Feels like it comes down pretty thin. Got a nice swedge up here. It's been crowned right there. This is pretty nice. This is the Kershaw Blur. I've never, like I said, I only have one Kershaw and I have one ZT. Or no, I have two Kershaws, now this one. So three. Uh, so I don't have much experience with Kershaw or ZT. Uh, but the two Kershaws that I do have, both seem well made this one seems very well made the leak is well made uh and this seems very well made as well a lot of guys are not fans of assisted knives i'm not either but i will pick one up occasionally and with this being a thumb stud uh you know this is how a lot of how it used to be back in the day this is what i'm kind of used to uh the drop shot action and the action and all that stuff is more recent than anything. Uh, you know, this is how it was for a long time. But they've really perfected this. It's smooth. Feels good. And I can do this one-handed all day long. Close it, open it. So you don't need two hands at all. Lockup's good at like 30%. Open construction, you got three, three posts. Going to give you good, good rigidity in there. Nice and strong. Yeah, I like that. Nice thick aluminum scales. This stuff's comfortable. I'm not sure it's must be some sort of plastic, but or some sort of like rubber plastic. That's what it feels like, like a rubbery plastic, but it looks good, feels good. I like this little thing. 
Boy, if they if they made this in a non assisted, that would be cool. You got this little like it is definitely slightly curved. Goes up there. Is it? Definitely looks curved, doesn't it? Like it recurves. Just a slight slight amount. You could probably easily sharpen that out. And it, as far as anyone wondering if you can de-assist these, I have no clue. Uh, my guess would be that maybe you can. But that I'm not sure of. I don't think... I think some of them you can... But then again, some of them you can't. So this one I'm not sure about. I'm sure. So as far as de-assisting it, I don't know about that. But uh, this uh, definitely seems like a good pocket knife for sure. And I do like the flashlight. And if you're not looking to spend a bunch of money on a multi-tool, five, six bucks on this one. You know, if you need something to throw in a bag and not carry with you or throw in your vehicle. I could see this definitely being something to fill that role. But as far as carrying on you, I would say these two items would be worth looking at. If you don't have any items and you need something, you could go pick those up for under 80 bucks. You'll have a lot of life out of that with the AAA battery. And then your 14C28N and aluminum is going to be outstanding on this guy. Uh, and a lot of newer people probably won't mind an assisted knife to start with. So definitely a couple items to take a look at. You can get some good quality stuff for under 100 bucks. It can be done. Uh, there are gems hidden all throughout the ocean of the EDC world. You just got to be able to find them. Uh, that'll do it for this one, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this stuff. Uh, we'll definitely be doing another one of these. Maybe we'll bump it up to like one under 120 or under 150 or something. And maybe we'll move stores. I don't know. Maybe we'll do another Walmart one. We'll see what happens. But uh, that'll do it. Give the video a thumbs up if you're still here. Thank you. I love you. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. We got plenty more coming up. Love y'all, and I will catch you on the next one.